Hey there. In this instructional video, we're going to go over the Acumeth Instant Methamphetamine Residue Test. The Acumeth test and kit will help you to determine whether or not multiple areas are contaminated with methamphetamine residue in as little as just five minutes. Before we go over the sample collection and extraction process and the test procedure itself, let's go ahead and post up our sample templates in the four different areas to be tested. For posting up your sample templates in the four areas to be tested, you'll want to label your templates. Here you can see I'm labeling these templates bed. And since we're testing four areas for one average result, I'm numbering these templates. And you can also put the date. As you can see, I put the 25th of February. Go ahead and use the stickers provided. You can put one sticker at the top of the template and one sticker at the bottom of the template to attach it to the non-porous surface. Repeat this process for all four sample templates. That way you can prepare to test all four areas. Now that we've got our sample templates posted, it's time to throw on our nitrile gloves so that we can get into the sample collection and extraction process. Okay, now that we have our nitrile gloves on, place the tests and all test components out on the supplied wax paper. Open the meth extraction buffer bottle and put the open bottle aside on the wax paper exercising care not to spill the liquid buffer. Place the cap adjacent to the buffer bottle. Now we're going to pick up one of the gauze wipes and remove it from its packaging and hold it in one hand. With your other hand, we are going to pick up the pipette, which looks similar to a mini turkey baster, and we are going to draw the meth extraction buffer to the top of the pipette. And when you've done this, be sure to hold the pipette tip slightly up so the buffer does not drip out. Now, fold the gauze wipe in half and carefully add 10 drops of buffer from the pipette onto the folded gauze wipe. Moisten the folded gauze wipe evenly throughout. Now our gauze wipe is ready to take the sample. Put down the pipette and go to one of your posted sample templates. We are going to wipe the test surface within the template in a tight zigzag WZW fashion. First, moving up and down in tight columns in a W fashion. And for the second pass, we are going to move horizontally in rows in a Z style. And for the last pass, we are going to turn the gauze wipe over and again, move in an up, down, W fashion. Now we can go back to our test kit and wax paper. We are going to tightly roll up the gauze wipe and pick up the syringe and remove the plunger from the syringe. Carefully insert the rolled up gauze wipe into the syringe barrel. Now your syringe should contain one gauze wipe and one part of the four part sample. Now we are going to repeat the gauze wipe preparation and sample collection process for the three remaining gauze wipes and the three remaining sample templates. So that means again, we are going to pick up a gauze wipe, add 10 drops of buffer to it, take the sample in a WZW style, roll up the gauze wipe and insert it into the syringe barrel and repeat this process a third time. And repeat this process a fourth time. So at the end, you should have four gauze wipes rolled up in the barrel of the syringe. Now put the plunger back into the syringe. Place your plastic cup in the center of your wax paper. Pour the remaining buffer into the plastic cup. Go ahead and expel any liquid from the sample into the plastic cup. We are going to draw the buffer back into the syringe and expel the liquid into the cup. We are going to repeat this process two more times for a total of three times. So pull up on the plunger of the syringe and push down expelling the liquid into the cup. And for a third and final time, we're going to 
draw the buffer back into the syringe and push down on the plunger, expelling the liquid into the cup. Make sure you do not spill the buffer out of the cup. We want to keep the sample as accurate as possible, so keep the liquid in the cup. The sample is now ready for testing. Now we are going to perform the test procedure. Remove the test cassette from the foil pouch and place on the wax paper. We are going to pipette up the extracted sample from the plastic cup and again hold the pipette tip slightly up as to not spill the buffer. We are going to add four drops and only four drops to the sample well, which is the circular area on the test cassette. When you've done this, you'll want to go ahead and set a manual timer or a timer on your smartphone for 10 minutes. We are going to read the test result after five minutes has passed, but not after 10 minutes. The C is the control line, and this line should be present regardless of whether or not your sample is contaminated with methamphetamine residue. The MET or MET line is the meth residue line, and this is the line that we are going to compare with the line intensity card provided. The sample can be considered negative for methamphetamine residue if the MET or MET line on the test cassette has an intensity of 8 or more. On the other hand, the sample can be considered positive for methamphetamine residue if the MET or MET line has an intensity of 7 or less or is not present at all. That means the lighter the MET line on the test cassette, the more meth residue that is present in your sample. Our sample can be considered negative for methamphetamine residue. When you're done, be sure to dispose of your nitrile gloves along with all related items by placing them in the bag provided and throwing that bag away. Acumet does not require hazardous waste disposal, so you won't have to worry when you throw the bag away in any kitchen or household garbage can. Thank you for watching this video and happy testing.